It's painfully obvious that when the temperatures go up, so do our energy bills. Yeah, and it's no different for local businesses, and that's why they're calling on Austin Energy to give them some advice on how to save money. NBC, uh, KXAN's Natalie Stoll has more. When you think of conservation, recycling often comes to mind. Well, this recycling business is cutting down on how much energy they use and boosting their bottom line. Jeff Payne started Break It Down, an Austin recycling and composting company, two years ago. Business boomed and he moved into this warehouse. But even without air conditioning, it's not the most energy efficient space. This is a magnetic ballast, which draws a lot of energy. Rebate offers right now, uh, we pay 50 to 75 percent for small business lighting. Um, but we offer low cost things such as window tint um, or programmable thermostats. Austin Energy's free energy assessment helps businesses pinpoint areas that need improvement. The changes can mean big savings on their energy bill. We can easily see savings of up to $1,000 uh, or more a year. It's make or break for a lot of these small business customers. Um, their energy and their energy usage um, it affects their bottom line. So we've increased the temperature in all the offices. Austin Energy's largest customer, Samsung, has also found ways to conserve. We've turned off half the lighting in the office spaces, and we also turned off all the lighting in the mechanical spaces. Um, that's really reduced our energy usage by about two megawatts. That's the energy it takes to power 500 homes. Those measures happen every day now. Back at Break It Down, Jeff says becoming more energy efficient is a win-win. It fits in line with our environmental goals, our sort of environmental ethics, uh, but also just makes good business sense uh, because if you can spend a little money up front and get a savings at the end, then um, it's no different than increasing your revenue. We have more information on Austin Energy's energy assessment program on our website, kxan.com. Just look for this story under the local news tab. In South Austin, Natalie Stoll, KXAN News.